Have I made the donation to sperm bank? Uh, no comment. No comment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, 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 yeah, it's a little bit kinder on the eyes. I still haven't figured out which one, which color is up, which color is down, but it looks okay. The background, the yellow blue background was a little bit too much. I have to admit that. I'm the best. Thank you, David. Hey guys, screenshot that. David is nice. David, are you drunk? Why are you so nice? Why do you always hate David? I don't hate David. David hates me. I don't know the backstory. Ask David. I don't know why he hates me. I don't know. I have no idea. So the oil trade is having follow through from yesterday. That's good. Most commodity things are up, except for MP, which is down. What the fuck? I hate this thing. Worst one is MOS. It's up 30% from where I bought it. Problem is, I don't have it anymore. Can they actually hang as a support on queues? Uh, yeah, maybe. We're still in a pretty decent downtrend. But selective things will work and can work, like the oil. Oil sector has been working very well over the past four months while the indices have been struggling. Not only struggling, they've been going down. Crypto? Are you fucking kidding me? Crypto has been shelled the past three, four months. Uh, yeah, this is a good uh, setup for, uh, yeah, it's a nice flag for a smaller account, guys. These are the types. Uh, these are the types. You know what sector I like? SMH. The semi sector is not going away. It's in a long base here. It's in a long base. Been building higher lows. And I see a lot of strong names in the sector. Stuff like MU, ON, AMAT. Well, AMAT is in a long sideways base. And also AMD and NVIDIA are holding their uh, rising moving averages pretty well. That sector is its one of the... Definitely the strongest tech related sector. A line, yeah. I'm waiting for a flag or you know an uptrend for this thing to start. I can't believe I got shaken out of moss. It reported, I think it was on this day here. It reported and it, it actually traded down to like 39 bucks in after hours. AA from the flag break here. And also from the initial base break here. It's now up. 60%. This is why swing trading is superior to um, day trading. Unless you get shaken out. Yeah, exactly. The thing is, you know, the market had every reason to go lower, but it didn't. Even though Putin is threatening with nuclear weapons. But on the other hand, we had this little reflex bounce and, you know, it can turn down and take another dump anytime. That's, that would be classic bear market behavior. You know, make everyone think they're safe and then boom, pull the rug. Classic bear market behavior. We'll see. Man, I don't think I've ever had a portfolio like this. Oil ETF, oil ETF, gold ETF, copper ETF, copper stock, steel stock, rare mineral stock and Russia ETF. Even though the Russian markets are closed, I'm buying a Russian ETF. Let's go. What can go wrong? RSX is pretty thin though. I wanted like half a million shares, but I'm not getting it. Didn't even get 200. Too thin. Eros. Oh, this is even thinner. But yeah, it's uh, down 70%. RSX is down. So yeah, they're pretty much exactly the same. But it's thinner. So there's no point in touching this thing if RSX is thin. RSX even has higher ADR, so RSX is better. I wonder if Square is gonna get rejected here. It had a big bounce into the 50 day. Almost 60% move in what? Three sessions. What is my main game plan with RSX? My ge main game plan is that Putin gets overthrown and RSX goes back to 20. That's my main game plan. Do you have a stop loss on RSX? No, because I don't use stops. All, all of my stops are at zero. I'm winging it. 
<laughs> and RSX, this thing could cap down 50% tomorrow. You never know. Like it did yesterday. It capped down like, okay, 26%. I'm only going to hold it overnight if it goes like green or something. It needs to go green and close strong. That's the only way I'm going to hold it. If it closes like this, no way I'm going to hold it overnight. Could open at 8 tomorrow. <laughs> D-Dog. Yeah, D-Dog is setting up. D-Dog is one of the few software setups I see. Oh, this is the one I bought the EP on, got stopped out. But yeah, it's one of the very few software names where I actually see a setup. This is a good setup. This is a really good setup. Especially if it can like go sideways one more day, maybe. Vale had a great flag early January, 7th of January. Had a flag of the lows. Could get the follow through. It's a steel name, I think. Pretty sure it's a steel. Ionic, yeah, it's setting up. Not bad. Man, I saw UPSD on scan. It's actually higher. Why couldn't it go when I was long it? Why? And now it's gonna go to 200. It pulled back, built another higher low of the rising 20, and yeah. So hard to trade, uh, you know, stocks in downtrends. We're actually stocks in, uh, it's so hard to trade in choppy markets. Like, I, I've been right on a lot of stuff. It's just I got shaken out. Roku too. I was long it here, like 109. Got stopped out and now it's up 30% since. It went up 30%. And this uh, MOS. I had it like here, 41.50 or something. I had just really good entry. Up 30% since. But I ended up taking a small loss on it. AOSL, no semi name. Yeah, yeah. A lot of them do look good. A lot of them do. Strongest sec tech sector out there. Oh yeah, TTD is another software related name that's very strong. TTD and uh, the dog. IRL team. Yeah, full name. Oh, this is a good setup. BPU safe safe. Everything commodity related is strong, except for this MP, of course, because I'm long it. We'll see where it closes. Oh. Let's see, yeah, if we can have a, you know, get to the 50 day by today, it could be a good short tomorrow. Maybe. Could be. All right, guys, I'm going to cut the stream now before I fall asleep. Thanks for joining. See you tomorrow. Good luck. BFRA. Oh! Wow, this is a good looking chart. Great find. It's too thin for me. This has some good risk reward. What if it goes to like 10 bucks or something? Could easily do it. It's been building higher lows on the 60 minute and the daily chart. And has a tight, tight, tight range break. I really like this one, but I, I just can't trade it. It's too thin. It's not even worthwhile for me to trade it. I could push that thing to 10 myself, and I'm just not going to do that. But yeah, great find on BMRA.